welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing laundry, if you can hear that. I'm going to the Nespresso store to do like a huge restock that I haven't done in so long since October. I think it's when I posted my last video, which a lot of you guys loved and found me through. So I was gonna do, like I'm doing another huge restock so that way it lasts me like another six months. I'll show you what I get. I'm dying to try some new coffees, new flavors certain ones that I'm not repurchasing that I purchased in the last one, like the last huge restock one, because one of them was seasonal. And two, some of them I just, like I didn't like the flavors. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on my day. It's a day in my life. Um, huge restock. I'm going to get Starbucks because it's Sunday and I feel like Sunday is just a great day to get Starbucks. So, let's go. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you guys today? Hi, can I just have a um, grande iced coffee with vanilla sweet cream cold foam? A grande iced coffee with vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Yes, and then um, can I also do a venti ice water? Right. Is there any sweetener in the iced coffee? No, thank you. Right. Anything else I can get you? No, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. If you live in Orlando and you have an espresso machine, Macy's, the third floor of Macy's at the Millennium Mall has the Nespresso Boutique in it, so you can buy all your pods in store and you don't have to wait for them to ship and come in. So this is where I come to pick up my pods. I just got the first parking spot by the door. <laughs> espresso goodies that I'm going to share with you guys but I'm so bummed because they didn't have any of the Legero Bianco Legeros and I had four checked off on my list because so when you go to that store they you stand in like a line and they give you one of these sheets depending on if you're like original or Baturo you mark off what you want and then when you get up to the counter they basically like hand you the stuff from like the wall of pods behind them. I called an espresso before I went and was like, I just want to know if you have like the Bianco Le Leggero in stock at like the Nespresso boutique that I'm going to in my area. And the woman told me that they had like 300 boxes of it in stock. And I was like, okay, that's perfect. Like, that's fine. So I was expecting to go and get like a bunch. I was expecting to get 40 pods. And I also wanted some of the Ice Ligero. They didn't have either in stock. So I was really bummed. And I even tried to order it on Amazon and it's not gonna be in stock until May. And that's when it's coming back in stock on the Nespresso site. So I'm just gonna order some on the Nespresso site right when it comes back in stock. So I got other pods, um, trying some new ones. And I also got some, they were doing 25% off their um, merchandise. So I also got some cups too. So let's, let's begin. Oh, and I also got more um, recycling bags. So they used to be black. I have some already. I have two already. And then I have one that I'm filling up in my pantry right now. They have, I didn't realize that they had a drop box at the Nespresso Boutique in the Mall of Millennia. So um, you can also bring them there if you want to recycle, but I just ship it out through UPS. My job actually, the UPS guy comes basically every single day. So I always, whenever I fill up a bag, I just hand them to him. So there's really no excuse for me to not recycle my pods because it's just, 
as easy as bringing this bag once it's full to my job and then just handing the bag to him. And this is, so my welcome gift when I first got like my machine, they give you like a welcome gift. And this is actually, the pods were repurposed into um, a vegetable peeler, which I think is so cool. So this is what the pods can be transformed into when you recycle them. So now it's being used for something else, which I use all the time. So I love it. I got two of those. So I have plenty of bags and the bags are free, so you don't have to buy them. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So I'm trying like a few new ones that I'm kind of excited to try. So I'll start with ones that I've like gotten before that I love. So one thing is like my favorite pod is the Bianco Leggero one. It's my absolute favorite one with the Oatly oat milk. It's like the most creamy, delicious coffee and it's even delicious iced. It is my favorite pod and I wish I saved some. That's my favorite pod. I recommend that to everyone. It's a double shot of espresso and I just recently found out that it was a double shot of espresso and um, sometimes I drink two of those like back to back. So I'm having like four shots of espresso and I thought it was only one shot. So I'm just gonna start off with the ones that I get. Basically every time that I go and stock up on Nespresso pods. First one is just like my basic coffee. I get the Malazio. It's a really nice balanced coffee. When I first got my machine, I was looking for something kind of like the Keurig Pike Roast from Starbucks. So I wanted something kind of like a medium roast, very balanced, and this is it. What are the notes? It's cereal and fruity. So I feel like a lot of the flavors that I get are like cereal. This is definitely like the perfect medium roast coffee. Palazzo is my favorite. I always pick it up. It's my favorite coffee. I just got... This is also one that I always get. It's the Altiso one. It's a single shot of espresso. It is very strong. I don't know what it is, but this stuff, if I have two of these, this makes me like very jittery. Well, the intensity is nine, and I don't know if that means flavor or what. This is a very, very strong shot of espresso. Altiso is my favorite single shot of espresso. So my favorite coffee, single shot of espresso. Now let's get into my favorite double shot of espresso besides the Bianco Leggero. It is the double espresso chai chairo. This is what it looks like. I haven't tried the other double shot of espresso, but I got one. I heard that this one is kind of intense. It has an intensity level of an eight and this has the level of a six. But I also got the Scuro one to try which i'm excited to try so everything else that i got is basically stuff that i haven't really like tried and gotten a full box of before so yeah i basically only got like four coffees and then i tried like a bunch i wanted to try like every single one but i was like chill so i got this as one of the ones that I haven't tried before i got volteso i think i tried this before when i first got my machine i think it came with one of these i can't remember if i liked it or not so i just got a box of it it has the intensity level of a four so i feel like it's really light it has notes of cocoa and fruity so we'll see if this is a good one so i got a lot of coffees which is different for me i'm usually like shot of espresso type of person so i wanted to try this I really don't know how to say this. It's like Giorno, Giorno. It's a coffee. It is intensity level four and it's floral and cereal. So I thought it'd be really good to try. I'll let you know if it's good. I got the Ice Forte ones because I wanted to get the Leggero, but this was also on my list, but I wanted to get the Leggero ones because it's a, the double shot. And this is just like a regular coffee and it's made for iced coffee. So I wanted to get a box of this. I've tried both of them before and I liked it, so I wanted to just definitely get a box. I got two boxes of the Bianco Forte coffee. It's the barista collection, just like the Leggero. It's biscuit, that's the flavor notes. So the Leggero one is 
caramel and sweet biscuit and i really love that one but i'm sure i'll love this one too and then i just recently read more into these types of pods which is the gran lungo or lungo pods which is kind of like an americano twist on an espresso shot it's more like drawn out and more like watered down apparently i could be wrong if i remember correctly that's what it said so i got one of those i got the iran why do they name them such complicated names that i can't say it um this is the the name of the one that i got so it's cereal and caramel so i figured i'd like it i kind of lean towards like cereal flavors like light fruity mostly cereal i'm like drawn to and i'm pretty sure it's just like basically like a shot of espresso but it's like americano style am i correct or am i wrong feel free to correct me in the comments but i wanted to try one of these because i never have and they have a few kinds so i figured this would be good lastly i got the virtuo recipe glasses Let's open it for you guys i saw them they were doing 25 percent off their merch so i was like you know what let me just pick something up because i really have been like looking at these glasses and wanting them but this is what they look like i know it's hard to like tell can you even tell should i put it on like a black background it wants to focus on my face So, but this is what the glasses look like. They come with like a little spoon. So if you, to mix it around and stuff. I got two of those, I figured why not? They're 25% off. And also they're dishwasher safe. That is my Nespresso haul. I'm sorry it's not as big as my last Nespresso haul, but it would have been pretty big if I would have gotten my Ligero pods. Definitely go and pick those up right when they come out. Yeah, that's my espresso haul. I don't know which ones I'm going to put in my dish. I keep them in that glass jar back there. I just washed it, so I'm, I don't know which ones I'm going to put in. I think I want to do these. Maybe we should keep a theme. These colors go good together, right? We'll do these. Okay, let's... This is stunning, so gorgeous. I'm in love with this. I just got in the car, back in the car. I feel like I've been go, go, go all weekend. Going to the grocery store to get my lunch stuff for the week. I made like these breathable things last week and they were so good. So I'm gonna do the same thing this week. And then next week I'll switch it up so I don't get sick of it because I love stuff like this. And then I think Christian's gonna like grill up some chicken burgers that were from Trader Joe's on the grill. And that will be dinner, but it's like 6.30. That's about it. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm.